Hello, Darren Pettigill Mindset Mentor and Behavioral Specialist. So delighted to have you here with me today as I am about to show you the basic way to tap away something that's bothering you. So the first thing I'm going to ask you to do is to notice how you know it's bothering you. How does it manifest? Is it a feeling in your body? It could be a feeling in your stomach, your chest, your throat. Just check it. It could be any type of body sensation. Or is it something that you remember, that you saw, that you heard? Is it someone's words? Was it specifically the tone of their voice or what they said? How did it make you feel? What are the emotions? Just notice. Notice how bad it was. Make it as strong as you can. Can you see their face? However this shows up for you, just take a moment to make it stronger. Now, what happens when you pull a tree out by the roots? What happens to the tree? It falls over and dies, just like this. So I want you to tap along with me and notice your fingers on your skin. I release and let it go. All fears, all sadness, all the pictures, all the words, the sensations in my body, I just let it go. All the distress. I'm letting it go, the anger, whatever it was, just say it to yourself. Or you can simply say, I let it go. I'm letting it go. Notice your fingers. I let it all go now. And take a deep breath in. Squeeze your wrist, blow it away, and say peace. Good job. And now I want you to close your eyes and go somewhere that makes you feel really good. And this is your happy place. We will mark this as your happy place. Go there right now. And it may be somewhere in nature. It may be with a good friend. It may be a time long ago. It may be in your garden, on the beach. You know where it is. Just go there now. Be there. See what you see, hear what you hear, feel what you feel. Really transport yourself into this moment. Notice how good it feels to be here right now. Let every cell in your body feel it. Spread it around in a haze of your favorite color. Feel it land in the tips of your toes and feel it swirl to the top of your head. Now take a deep breath in. Blow that breath away and say peace. Our breath is so important. Full breathing. And it is so releasing and relaxing to take that full breath in and let it go. And then we squeeze our wrist which anchors in our happy memory. And we also have meridian points in the wrist. Because as you know, or you may not know, we are tapping on Chinese meridian points. The bladder, the gallbladder, the stomach, and the kidneys. So these meridian points in Chinese medicine are linked to the organs in the body. And every time you tap, you are changing how you hold this bad feeling in your body and your mind. You're disrupting it, you're breaking it, you're scratching the record, you're scrambling it. So, And we keep checking it. So this is what we do. We are constantly checking, and this is called our SUDS rating. So it may have started at a 10, like it was a really big feeling, and now it's come down. Notice how much it's changed now. Go back and check that original 
disruption, that thing that bothered you. Notice how it's changed. Is it a now a five out of 10? Maybe it's gone right down to a three out of 10. Just give it a number, whichever number comes up. Notice what's in that number. How do you know that it bothers you? What does that number represent? Is it that feeling in your body? Is it that picture in your mind, that sound? And let it go. I'm letting it go. I'm safe to let it go. I'm letting it all go today. It's not helping me to hold on to it. So I simply let it go. I'm ready to change it. I'm ready to feel better. Big breath in. Blow it away. And say peace. And you can replace that word with whatever word you like. We all know what peace is. And the body knows what peace is. You might want to change it to something funny. Like pizza. <laughs> Whatever you come up with is a disruption to that previous original bad feeling. Okay, step back into your happy place. You know where it is. And just be there right now. Bang. Breathe it throughout your body. Spread it. Notice how every cell is dancing with that good feeling. It's so good to feel good. Take a deep breath in, blow it away, and say peace. Let's go back and check the original feeling. So this is how you do it. So what is it now out of 10? This is our SUDS rating. Is there anything left? And if there is, notice what it is. This is called aiming. Aim at what it is. Is it what that person, how that person looked at you? Okay, you got it. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. I'm letting it go. It's over now. It's not happening anymore. I'm changing this. I'm tired of hanging on to it, the way they looked at me. Whatever I made it mean, I simply let it go, let it go. I'm safe. Big breath in and peace. And you'll notice what I said there, whatever I made it mean, because it's always something inside of us. And it's usually connected to some past event of how someone maybe treated us and it's now triggered a reaction just recently. So just you might it might even come up a previous event when somebody treated you badly or looked at you in a certain way. And just by tapping, you are transforming that, all those connections. You're breaking them down, you're releasing them. Go back to your happy memory, feel good right now. Or you might just want to look around you at the beautiful scenery. And that is just inserting something, something happy, something peaceful, something wonderful. It's inoculating that bad feeling, transforming, changing, sweeping out, clearing out, cleaning out. We're cleaning out the neighborhood of our minds. And you are becoming more and more aware of how you create these feelings, how you create disturbance in your life. And the more you the more cognizant you become of how you're doing it, the better you become at releasing it. So now, when you find that it doesn't bother you anymore, and you're like, oh, it, it happened, but there's no reaction. I'm not feeling a reaction. 
then you simply tap in what you would rather have. Build yourself up, build your house up, build your foundation. Realize that you can love you. You can support you always, no matter what's happening out there, no matter how other people are reacting. It's all about your reactions. You can create that space where you notice, I can either react or I cannot react. And that is emotional intelligence. So now it's time to tap in what you want, okay? That look, what they said to me. Thank you, brain. Thank you, body, for letting me know that it bothered me because I'm cleaning it up. It's not mine. I'm letting it go. I'm safe to react differently. It's not my stuff. It's their stuff. I'm really okay because I believe in me, because I value me. I'm doing the best I can. I give myself permission to be me, to be free, to not be reactive, to feel compassionate. Maybe they're having a tough time and I'm letting it go. I'm letting it go. I'm safe to let it go. I'm safe to find a different response. It's always safe to be me, to be kind, to be gentle, to be loving. I'm healing something inside of me and I'm really okay and I'm safe as I do it. I'm so grateful. Big breath in, blow it away and peace. Well, I hope this gives you a bit of an edge on your next tapping session. Now you know how to try it yourself. Um, it's amazing. There's so much power at the tips of your fingers. Who would have thought? So amazing to share this time with you today. Bye for now.